Okay, welcome back for another tutorial. Today, all I'm going to do is show you how to version control, uh, at least um, connect your local Git repository to a remote server like GitHub or Bitbucket or any of those really. There are a ton of them like GitLab too, whatever it may be. It's pretty simple. So all we're going to do is we're just going to make sure we've already Git initted. And in this case we have, as you can tell. So what I'm going to do is just make sure that everything that I've done so far is up to date and committed. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say, okay, it looks like we have a Django app here. So I'm going to commit these changes, right, now that I've created one. In this case, it, I've, I've created one. So I'm just going to add those changes. Okay. And then I'm going to commit those. And we're just going to say created Django app. And let's even just do creates, creates Django app. Cool. We'll just, whoop, we'll just clear that. Okay, now what we need is a branch. So in my case, I'm just going to do, I'm going to name it main. Uh, it used to be master, now it's main for the, for the main one. Um, so we're just going to do M and then main. Cool. And now we need a remote repository. Now in my case, I'm actually using SSH. So as long as you already have your SSH file set up, your ID, RSA, public ID, all that, uh, uh, public key all set up, then you're good. Um, if you don't know how to do that, just look up SSH, um, um, uh, um, a, uh, SSH asymmetric um, encryption, and it will it will show you how to do it with Git and stuff. I already have mine set up with the uh, ID, RSA, you know, public, whatever. Um, so as long as you have that set up, you'll be able to do this with your repository. But really, all, all, all we do from here is this. So we've committed it. Now we have to set up our remote uh, origin um, repository. So we're just going to do git remote add origin. And then we just want to paste the repository here. So I already created mine. It's over here. <clears throat> right? It's called random. All I'm going to do is go up here, do clone copy the end here, right, this is for SSH at least, as you can see, go over here, do that baby, and there it is, we'll clear that, now we actually have a remote repository set up, and then really all we're going to do is we're going to do, for the initial one, we're going to do git push u origin main, and I'm going to even going to force it, because I don't care if it overwrites my git ignore that's already on there, I don't care, so this is the initial one, at least for the remote server, to actually push to it. So I'm just going to push all the commits I have so far, which are two. And there we go. I'm just going to clear that. Go back. Refresh. Oh my gosh. My goodness. I'm going to refresh. And there we go. Cool. Very cool. And then if we wanted to make any more changes, we could go up here. We could go... Okay, then we just git add the change, we just deleted a file, and now just to make sure everything works. Some random folder and file. And... Very cool. So now we can go back here. And it's all up and running. I hope this helped, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you would like me to make more videos, please let me know. If you would like me to stop making videos forever, unfortunately, please also let me know that. Um, and um, any recommendations you might have for future videos. And uh, if you liked it, please like and subscribe, and um, have a great day. Alright.